Yeah. For a few hours, biologists can endure these freezing conditions for science. But for an antelope, it is a reason why they should be someplace else. If you were a pronghorn, would you rather stick around here and hang out in some marginal habitat? Or did you want to move and find more optimal forage? For the last several years, research <laughs> biologist Andrew Jakes has been looking at the movement of antelope in northeastern Montana. The treasure right there. And what he is finding is changing our whole perception of pronghorn migration. This animal right here captured close to Glasgow, Montana. She summered up north of Grasslands National Park in Saskatchewan. And here we are picking up her collar just outside of Ingemar, Montana. This 300 mile migration is evidence that pronghorn in the northern extent of their range need to move to different areas throughout the year to survive. But Jake's research is also showing there are impediments such as roads and fences that can impact their progress. If you think about it, if an animal's going through this deep snow and it hits a fence, it can't go under. It's lost so much energy at this point that it's probably pretty hard for it to go over. So it just follows along the fence line and it might not be able to get to where it needs to be. This research information will pass to wildlife managers who hope to reduce these barriers to pronghorn migration. Some things are going to be very small projects like different fence designs or leaving gates open and we could even be looking at doing some large scale management actions such as overpasses. This study has motivated wildlife management agencies and landowners to work together to conserve an animal which we now realize knows no borders. Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife and parks.